Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Things.com. And in today's video, I want to quickly show you a niche that I found, a freelancing niche that I found uh, like it's really exciting. The niche is uh, TensorFlow. So TensorFlow you see uh, here. So if you search for uh, talents, um, uh, TensorFlow talents, you will find uh, with a certain number of filters, you will find on Upwork that there are some freelancers who are really crushing it on Upwork using TensorFlow as their main uh, like fo area of focus, right? TensorFlow is a uh, Python machine learning framework framework for um, uh, for deep learning, so focusing on deep learning. But you can also do like normal machine learning, non deep learning. Uh, but uh, but it's focused on on deep learning, right? And we have on the Things the Computer Science Academy, we have one course, TensorFlow: A Hands On Introduction to Deep Learning and Neural Networks for Beginners. I will add a link to this course in the description below, so you can check it out if you if if you would like to like to really study. Um, uh, study TensorFlow and really from a practitioner's point of view uh, master the basics and uh, and finish your first uh, TensorFlow project. Uh, the course is uh, is held by our, our Finster creator Hawaii who is like a PhD candidate so she she knows what she's talking about. Um, good so um, this in this video I want to uh, quickly present you the niche from an Upwork point of view so you see you can make like $70 per hour easily on TensorFlow but only if you are a top rated freelancer so on the Finster freelancer course I always recommend that you you focus on becoming top rated on Upwork which means that you have a high job success score and you have earned a minimum number a minimum amount of uh, of 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 dollars uh, or of money on the on, on the platform and you see you get a high job success score by just finishing the gigs right getting gigs from clients finishing the gigs delighting your customer this is like the main business principle you should uh, pursue as a freelance coder and then you will get high job success, job success score the demand for your services will increase but with increasing demand you can increase your hourly rate over time and uh, and like this is how you can make $70 per hour so if you make $70 per hour so let's calculate it quickly if you uh, are if you're really working on uh, like five five hours per day you can make 350 dollars per day working only like a part-time job right um is it even correct yes it's correct uh so you can uh um here some people even make more like this this guy here makes 100 dollars per hour and um so there are lots and lots of, of opportunities uh, regarding tensorflow development and you could focus for example just plainly on tensorflow right if i search for tensorflow there's no top rated freelancer who has TensorFlow in their profile description, right, uh, front and center. Um, I mean, yes, they have TensorFlow in their profile description as a skill, but they don't have TensorFlow as um, like an area of focus in their in their headline, right? Uh, so if I would if I would be interested in this niche, I would first of all like buy a book, finish the courses on TensorFlow. Uh, I would spend maybe 20, 20 hours or so learning the basics of TensorFlow. You, again, you can check out the things the computer science course to do this. Um, um, academy course to, to do this and then I would offer my services as like in the profile like in the headline here I would actually write TensorFlow I will create deep learning models for you or something like this right and then I would focus my profile description on my TensorFlow maybe previous TensorFlow projects I did while learning while learning for the for the skill and then I would just offer my services right maybe starting with $50 per hour and increasing the rate over time um, and yeah, just go this route. The more I, I, the more gigs I would finish, the more I would learn, the more demand there would be for my services. I would become a top-rated freelancer and uh, and making uh, like targeting this one hundred dollars per hour, uh, which I which I um, actually accomplished with another area of focus. And the area of focus was craft processing. I um, did my um, doctoral research in the area of craft processing, so this was my. Uh, main focus area when I was uh, still a freelancer, but I also did some like basic um, um, research project projects. For example, once I uh, consulted a client um, for two hundred dollars per hour, focusing on um, um, hacking like a Python, understanding, helping him understand a Python paper for uh, for hacking cars. And this was about uh, so he was hired by law enforcement in the UK to actually figure out uh, like some loopholes how how people can. How, how some cars actually got hacked uh, with the means presented in this paper. So I helped him understand this paper. So in the research area, you can also like there's a lot of work as a if you're a researcher, there's a lot of work for you waiting on Upwork where you can really monetize your skills. But also like if you just have zero skills, if you just want to focus on one thing like TensorFlow, I think it's not so hard right, to master one library, focus on this library. And then over time, just by doing the work, getting better, 
and increasing your rate over time, just laddering up. Okay, so I think there's, these are some amazing opportunities. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you, if you uh, like those videos, then uh, subscribe uh, to, to the things the YouTube channel. I actually release, uh, currently I release one such uh, niche video every day. Uh, but I mean, even if I don't manage to do it every day, I do it like at least once per week. So check it out to get notified about uh, these type of videos. Thanks for uh, listening to the video and see you soon. Bye.